Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willowbound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I am a journaler, journal maker, and teacher of journaling courses. And today is day 21 of the Inspiration Journal course, where I am showing you how I put together this collage art journal page by page so that you can follow along at home if you would like. And today our collage prompt <laughs> is printable. So this could be a challenge for those of you who have never used a printable before and maybe you have wanted to try it but it's been a bit of an intimidating world trying to figure out how to navigate it um, so this can be a prompt to encourage you to finally delve into the world of printables if that's something that you would like to do i know that not everyone likes printable papers and ephemera and you prefer um, originals and real life things and if that's you, adapt this prompt to suit you. And maybe you just want to print out a sheet of paper. If you don't have a printer, honestly, just use whatever you want. Stick something on the page that makes you happy. It's your inspiration journal. You just put down on your pages whatever makes you happy. Um, I am using printables from Johanna Clough. Her Etsy shop is Little Bindi, so I will link below her channel and her Etsy as well in case you like what you see here and you would like to use some of her printables as well. Or maybe there's you have a favourite uh, journaler out there or artist and you want to get some of their printables. Um, so whoever it is, Go, go for your life and have fun. I'm giving you permission to use printables today. Um, and yeah, the journaling prompt that goes along with this collage prompt is admire. So I thought that could go well with this because I've chosen Johanna Clough's printables and she is a person who I definitely admire. In the junk journal world, she is like my junk journal idol she's the one who introduced me to junk journals back in 2017 it was august and i was just about ready to go to bed it was late at night i think it was like 11 o'clock around 11 o'clock at night and then you know just before i go to bed to unwind i was watching youtube and i somehow stumbled on junk journals through johanna clough and also Amity Bloom and as soon as I found it oh my goodness I was so inspired I've never been more inspired in my life type of thing <laughs> I was just jumping at my skin zinging I was zinging <laughs> so here I was ready for bed all tired and then as soon as I saw these videos I had all this creative energy all of a sudden and I got up and I pulled out all my supplies and I worked on my very first junk journal and I used just an altered book as my first try um, my aim was just to make a mess and just to get used to covering the pages of a book because I'm such a perfectionist usually that I would want to get everything perfect and right and looking beautiful right from the start. But what I love about this junk journal world is you just get in there and you create and it's about just having fun putting things that you like on the page. And so I gave myself permission that night to just create something that would be a complete mess, something that I didn't even want to keep, something that I didn't want to um, journal in. I literally did throw it out after I made it um, and I only did like maybe five or six or seven page spreads in there. It was literally just to loosen me up and get used to the idea of using a book as a journal and creating my own pages. Um, and so, yeah, that was a really good experiment for me. And once I did that, I was off and running. <laughs> so later that week, I went to the craft shop and I bought um, some craft supplies, you know, some tags and some paper and stickers <laughs> and diamantes. And I just had so much fun making journals ever since then. And for a while there, pretty much like every single day, I was working on a journal every single day. It was just, I would go to work and then I'd come home from work and I would set about w making journals. <laughs> and back then I didn't have a desk, so I literally just made them on my bed. Um, and, you know, on weekends I would wake up in the morning, make journals, go to bed, <laughs> that kind of thing. So I was addicted. <laughs> it was very addictive making journals. Um, 
so yeah, I am forever grateful for Johanna Clough for introducing me to uh, junk journals and to this world of using pretty papers, real life ephemera, adding photos and journaling in this really visual, creative way. Um, I'd, I've always collected different pieces from my life, business cards, brochures, wrapping papers, postcards. Um, I would keep everything, lolly wrappers, <laughs> packaging, and I, I had a file for every year of my life. I still do. Um, and so I didn't know what to do with it all, though. I always knew I wanted to do something with it, but had no idea how to bring all these different types of pieces together. And I was a journaler pretty much my whole life as well, and an artist drawing my whole life, creating things my whole life. And I wanted some way to put all these things together. Like I took a million photos. I love taking photos. Um, and then when I discovered junk journals, it was like, oh my gosh, I did not know you could do this. I did not know you could find a way to put all of those things, everything I love together, even jewelry making, I can add that craft into it because I can add my dangles onto my journals. Um, so really, when I discovered junk journals, it felt like I found something that I'd always been looking for but didn't know was out there. And it felt like I found my home, the thing, yeah, that I was just always looking for. But yeah, I always said this, <laughs> didn't know existed. And when I found it, it was like the biggest moment of inspiration and since this is my inspiration journal definitely want to document that moment of inspiration and how Johanna Clough is one of my greatest junk journal inspirations and such a privilege to have one of her beautiful journals I absolutely adore it um, and I love flipping through those pages and get so much inspiration from her journal and her printables she really made me fall in love with doilies and linens she also helped me to fall in love with collage, which is what this whole journal is about, collage. And yeah, I do have some free printables if you are not wanting or able to spend any money on any printables. So make use of those freebies that go along with this course. I have plenty of other freebies too that are available publicly over on my Patreon or buy me a coffee so you are most welcome to access those, download them and use them as many times as you would like. Um, but for those who yeah, can afford printables, maybe from an Etsy shop, I do encourage you to think about a junk journal that you admire, um, whoever it might be. I'm just going to throw out some names of some junk journalists who I admire, aside from Johanna Clough obviously, of course there's Amity Bloom teal and tattered we've got um paper daisy journals and oh my gosh now i'm going to go blank oh my goodness um lorna taylor what's her business name uh, taylor made journals um we've got tracy fox her beautiful digitals as well um nanda her digitals are so stunning um Oh goodness, I'm trying to think of other ones. There's so many out there, but they're just a handful of the ones that I really enjoy in particular that I have actually got digitals from them myself. So I can definitely, you know, vouch for them and say I use them and love them. And so if you're looking for ideas, I definitely um, love those people. But I mean, you probably have so many junk journalists that you love too. So I encourage you, you can support them this way too. Not only do you get wonderful printables that you can use, but you're supporting whoever it is, your favorite junk journal, your favorite artist and supporting them in their creativity. And you probably discovered them on YouTube, maybe if you're anything like me. So um, any little bit of support would help them. So um, yeah, and let me know in the comments uh, your favorite junk journaler and if you got a kit from them, the name of the kit, because uh, yeah, if anyone's reading the comments, they might be like, oh, they might check out their shop and they might want to get some digitals from their shop as well. And it's just a way to, yeah, support the community, support fellow junk journalers and I love it. <laughs> it's just so fun. Um, the next journal that I'm working on is another collage journal and I'm using printables from Nanda mostly, but also a few from um, Johanna Clough, a few from Amity Bloom, and also, of course, from my shop. Um, but those are my current favorites at the moment. Another one I need to mention is Tiffany Julia. Um, 
and I'm just, oh, this, I know there's more, there's got to be more, <laughs> I'm just having a mind blank here, but I'm sure you might be able to fill the comments with other um, artists and junk journals that you love, that you have bought from in the past, or maybe currently, that you can um, maybe do a plug for um, your favourite junk journals out there. Um, and that's a great way as well, finding new um, people to follow, whether on YouTube or on Etsy. I'm always looking for people. Pretty much every week I will go through um, Instagram and YouTube and just look around. And I'm looking for inspiration, basically. I'm looking for something to spark my interest, something that makes me go, that's so pretty or that's so beautiful or that's so unique and interesting or I don't know um <laughs> mostly I'm just looking for the things that I love florals and vintage <laughs> um and my colors anything with blues and you know your pastel pinks and purples um, I'm all over that a sage green <laughs> cornflower blue all of that so whenever I see that like I'm looking I, I want to drink this stuff up like I, I'm constantly creating Yes, but I also want to be constantly soaking up inspiration from fellow creators and there's just so much talent out there and so many um, different styles out there and different ways of doing things. Like I don't follow just junk journalists, I really enjoy just pure people who are artists and who paint or draw um, and yeah, I just... Instagram for me is a wonderful place where I can just flip through any time of day and I'll see something that just makes me go, wow, that's so beautiful or that's so pretty or I love that colour or I love that image or I love how they put that together or I love how they worked that collage together or I love that piece of fabric or I love that bit of lace or <laughs> something like that. And for me, that's just a way of me adding beauty into my world is by finding these people, finding these creators and soaking up what they create because that makes me happy. <laughs> um, so yeah, maybe you want to um, do a page spread about one person who you really admire creatively in the junk journal world or just as an artist or a YouTuber that you absolutely love or an Instagrammer um, or maybe you want to write a list of people. Um, I was considering writing a list um, but I ran out of writing space when I came to do my journaling. So in the end, for my journaling, I just pretty much wrote about Johanna Clough and all the ways that she has inspired me and pretty much just wrote down that story of how I discovered her and how she introduced me to the world of jump journals and how she helped me to fall in love with these different elements in the junk journal world. Because, yeah, I love that we're all different. Some people don't like vintage they want more modern looking journals. Um, other people, you know, they only want to use real life ephemera, whereas others love using all of the store bought stuff. Um, some people love printables. Some people love using lots of fabric in their journals. Some love using paint, like all different. And um, one thing that I love about junk journals is that anything goes. And if you've ever been judged for the way that you create journals or the way that you journal I just want to say I'm sorry <laughs> um, that you have been judged for that and um, anytime that we're judged for something I feel like that takes away some of your joy and creating for me has always ever just been a joyful experience and something that I do for the you know pure joy of it so if anyone has robbed that of you I apologize and just want to let you know whatever you create that gives you joy it's okay you do you and even if you feel like no one else is doing what you like, if I hear people saying stuff like, everyone's doing vintage and I don't like vintage. Is there something wrong with me? No, there's nothing wrong with you. Not at all. I love vintage. That's my favorite journal style to make. But that doesn't mean that you have to make vintage journals. Not at all. So as long as you're having fun, you're enjoying the process, that's all that matters. Let no one rob you of that joy. No one. <laughs> and I'm giving you permission right here in this video just to create for joy. Um, so yeah, this is a really busy page, I know, but I love it. It's just because it's got everything with these printables that I love. And it's just a tribute to the lovely Johanna Clough. She's super talented, super lovely. And I definitely recommend her channel to you guys. Um, if you would like to see the journaling, 
portion of this course that is over on my Patreon. So um, that's where I add my writing to the page and I pretty, pretty much use all those blank spaces on the top right hand page, which I love so fun and linens that's one of the reasons why i love linens so much is because they're so pretty and decorative but there's often journaling space where you can write and love 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 it um i'm also really inspired here by johanna's craft space so pretty i love love her cabinet and i love her shelves i've always loved shelves so that's just another little piece of inspiration that I have put on this page. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're really well. Be sure to journey your life because your stories matter. Bye guys. A big special thank you to all my beautiful patrons who supported in May. Thank you for allowing me to do this for another month. I hope you absolutely love being a patron and all the extra rewards you get over on my Patreon. You get access to extra videos and printables and personal updates first access to my journals and much more so if you'd like to become a patron in june feel free to check out the link in the description box to my patreon